Welcome into the Ace Craftsman Workshop. We are with expert handyman Sean Bueno. Sean, you got a project for us today that's going to add some life to our outdoor space. We're going to make a really neat little planter to hang off of a deck. Feel free to go ahead and have fun and make this project your own. And we have some pretty heavy duty equipment for this project. It is a woodworking project. We're using saw, we're using a nail gun, so I want to be extra careful as far as safety goes. We don't want to get hurt, uh, so we're going to wear eye protection. We'll also need plenty of lumber, clamps, a drill, and rope, along with any flowers and soil you want to plant in the boxes. Okay, Sean, now what is the first step of this project? Uh, the first step is to determine the size of the boxes we want and cut the wood. We're going to make a series of three planter boxes that are going to be attached to this 2x4. Um, so what we need to do is build three 30-inch planters. This size that I'm doing, I just made up based on the material that we had. Sean starts by measuring and cutting 2x4s into two 40-inch sections. Those will make up the frame that we'll attach the boxes to. Next, he takes the scrap pieces of lumber and measures out 30 inch sections and cuts enough to make six long sides for the three boxes. Since Sean's using scrap wood, we save the wider pieces for the bottom. We're gonna cut these three panels all at the same time, but I wanna make sure that they're nice and even. So when we get them on the saw, I'm gonna use a block and we're gonna place it on the end of the wood to make sure they line up against the block. Okay. That's gonna ensure that these are all the same size. You're the expert. Okay, Ryan, so this is basically what we're gonna to put together. Uh, we've got a front of the box, back of the box, and the bottom of the box. And you can see that we don't have sides. Once we get it put together, we're gonna to know this measurement, yeah. and we're gonna cut side pieces. Okay. So let's get these three boxes going. Let's get them nailed together. The final step is to put the side pieces on. So now that we have the box together, we can get that measurement, go back to the saw, cut those pieces, nail them on really quick. Three boxes are made, looking good if I do say so myself, but we have another step to this project too. Now let's go ahead and get the side pieces. Those are uh, the two by fours that we cut earlier. Okay. And let's start putting this thing together. We've got the two side pieces. We're gonna anchor it with a bottom planter and then we're gonna place the second and third planters right up the ladder. Okay. So now we're gonna nail the two by four into the planter box. Okay, Ryan, you can see the planters really coming along. Uh, now the next two boxes we're gonna place uh, somewhere about here and, and then upward towards the top. Now, what I like about this project, it doesn't have to be any certain distance or height. It's really whatever you'd like to do for your own project. Now, Sean, our boxes are all attached, yep. and I noticed we left a little bit of room up top here. We did. So this is actually going to hang from a rope on a deck. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a hole on each side and run the rope through and leave enough slack so it can hang on a hook. So, Ryan, this is the rope that we're going to use to hang it. So we just want to make sure that the bit is wider than the rope so we make the hole big enough for the rope to go through. You go ahead and make the hole on this side, and just try to center it as much as you can. We thread the rope through the holes and tie knots on both sides to give the rope a secure hold, leaving enough slack to be hung on a hook. And this type of rope is gonna hold not only the planter, but remember, we're gonna have some dirt and some plants. It's gonna get heavy. And there's gonna be some water in there as well. So make sure that you use a strong enough rope. We need to cut the excess rope off. You know what, Sean? This planter box looks fantastic. I love projects like this because this is the ultimate project that a father and son can do, grandfather and grandchild. It was scraps in a garage. None of the cuts, none of the connections have to be absolutely perfect because it is a rustic piece and it just looks great. So obviously, we need to fill this thing up with plants, flowers, whatever we want, and hang it up outside. That's right. The sky's the limit as far as what types of plants you can use in there. Sean, the workshop did not do this hanging flower box justice. Now that it's outside, it really does look amazing. We've got a bunch of shade-loving plants because we're going to put it under this pergola where it's not going to get a ton of sun, but it's going to get some filtered sun. Well, what do you say we hang it up and move on to the next project? Let's do it. 